Hi guys, this is Paula Ram, and I want to come on with a little bit of a caution to you about a new trend that I see, and that is um, different registries for direct sellers or network marketers. And the premise is really good, it sounds really good, it's what I've been teaching about needing to have your own online presence. Um, your own space where you can have your own voice and give value to your customers and potential customers. Um, so you're not just selling, but you're actually giving value and helping people and having people get to know you. I highly recommend having your own space on the web to do that. Now, these new registries that are popping up um, sound great and they look great and they're promising to give you your own spot on the web for your your spot so it's kind of like your own blog but it's not okay it's not really your own spot you're really drawing people to um, a corporations or companies website that they designed okay so what what could what would be wrong with this? Why wouldn't you want to do this? Okay, so the thing with with any when you're part of any direct sales or network marketing company, you're kind of competing with all of the other consultants or distributors in your company, and um, most of the time that's not a problem. Um, you know, you run the risk of someone maybe Googling, you know, you t you're telling somebody about your, your business and then they go and Google it and they might find another consultant that way. Um, that probably doesn't happen a whole lot. It does happen. Um, people are looking for someone maybe they might like a little better. But in general, if you're bringing people to you, if you're bringing people to your blog, your place on the web, okay, they're more likely to buy from you. Um, you brought them there, you, they see your personality, the value you give on your blog, and they're likely to stay with you, okay? Now, at first glance, these registries look like they're doing the same thing, but the thing is, you go to these registries and you see how it's so easy, they make it so easy, and they want people to go on there and search on a particular company name to find a consultant or distributor that they like. So you see what I'm saying? You might draw people in, you might say, write a lovely blog post on one of these registries, you post it on Facebook, someone clicks on that, They're, they come to your article on this website, they read it and like, hmm, sounds interesting i i'm a little bit interested in this company but you know what i wonder who else is out there i wonder if there's other distributors that i might like better to work with okay so they're just gonna boop, right there click on that tab search on your company name and voila there's gonna be dozens of other distributors listed right there their beautiful photo their beautiful posts or you know so, so like now you've put yourself in competition with everybody else in your company, which is what you really don't want. You really want to be able to support one another. So now you're in competition and people are, are kind of encouraged to shop around for a distributor um, rather than sticking with you, the one who invited them to learn more about your company. Okay, do you see, see that? They might go on there, they'll search and they'll think, oh, you know, I like her shirt better. Oh, I like her hair better. Or, you know, she's... Um, a little bit too old for me or you know that one's a little bit closer to my area so they're gonna they might have criteria they're looking for and they'll find somebody else you might bring them in introduce them to the company but they'll go on there and they'll find somebody else that they resonate with better it's just human nature it's the way our culture is with shopping around and finding the best deal they want the best deal okay so you've just brought you congratulations <laughs> you've just you know brought someone to another team member you've helped someone else grow their team basically okay now it's not all bad with these registries okay the the good side is that you might attract someone who had no idea about your company or maybe they, they came on to search on your company and they're actually looking for a rep okay and then there you're listed and they can find you and that is awesome you could get some new customers or team members that way so that's 
the positive side. That's the pro to that. That can happen, okay? Um, so my word of caution is if you decide to use one of these sites, I would recommend you use it for the search feature. Put your information on there so that people who go on there and are searching for a distributor will find you, okay? Um, but I just, I can't recommend um, posting your link to any of your material on these sites elsewhere. Don't bring other people um, on Facebook or wherever to the site, to your blog post there, because then they're gonna go and search for another distributor and you're gonna lose them as a customer. So a much better way is to have your own blog, your own space, so people, you can attract people there, they can learn about you, and there's no search button right there on your blog to go find other consultants, right? <laughs> it's your own spot, there's no competition. It's just you, you just, invited somebody there or they've been attracted by your content and there you are they're going to enroll with you or buy from you okay so i hope this helps you know i'm not saying they're totally bad but use them with caution if you decide to use them and consider the better option of having your own blog your own space on the web so hope this helps guys till next time bye